Do you ever feel like it's just too much? There's just so much, it's beginning to pile up. It's like, we come to these times in our life where there's so much momentum from the past that's been stacking up and building up almost like behind a dam and so much desire to change, so much desire for something new, but the ways that we have been living are still like creating all this churn, all this extra just stuff in life. All this extra desire, all this extra activity. And we come to these points, these like inflection points, where it just feels like the gauntlet has been thrown down or you're being put in the cauldron, you're being put in the fire to finally evolve. And that's where this phrase, evolve or repeat, comes in. Evolve or repeat. Are you going to face up to this moment of inflection, of the need to really like burn off who you've been? Not in a self-aggressive way, but in a just like, you get cooked by the moment. Are you going to evolve through that, use that pressure to be changed into a new person, into the person who is capable of generating the results that you want, right? Are you going to use that pressure, be cooked in that pressure, and willingly face into that pressure and embrace it, be happy about it, be happy that it's, it's finally arrived, your moment, the moment that you've been waiting for, it never actually comes in this, as far as I can tell, like super nice, easy way, like, oh my God, we finally arrived. Just like, it just happened. It's all good. Like somehow everything we wanted to change just changed like magically. <laughs> uh, instead, it feels like life prepares you in stages, in steps, until you reach these inflection points. These real cauldron moments where life dips you in and is like, all right, we're back here again. Are you ready for this? Is this going to be the time that you actually move through this properly? Will you use this pressure to change your character that you've been playing into a character that you need to be to get the results in your life that you desire? To create what you want to see happen, to serve on the level that you want, that you know you're, you're here to do. So it's all about how we, how we look at those moments of pressure when it starts to build. I'm feeling like in the collective right now, there's more of that. Uh, there's more of that urgency to shift, to change, to galvanize to catalyze to be hardened you know it makes me think of in old times where we didn't have like stone or steel points for spears they would just harden the wood in the fire they would burn it they would first they would sharpen it and then they would harden the point in the fire in a specific type of way so they would use fire to harden. And obviously they do that with iron to steel. And we sharpen things with like steel sharpens steel. And we sharpen things with rock. And we, we, we need hard things to sharpen us into people who can actually get things done in the world. So when life offers you an opportunity to level up. The key is in recognizing it. It's going to be these moments where the pressure starts to build, the walls start to narrow in, there's this sense of imminence, there's a sense maybe of urgency, and the way that we are in those moments is the key. Because it's so easy to repeat the previous 
pattern of just becoming overwhelmed, like easing back into coping patterns, going back into things that take the pressure off, whatever your favorite flavor of the week is. Alcohol, drugs, weed, numbing strategies, media, distractions. We get to those points life has like delivered us finally to that moment where we can actually make the shift, make the leap. And instead we shy away. And I think that's the number one key is in recognizing when you've come into the season of intensity that you've been waiting for to see that and be like, oh, great. Like finally, like it's all come together. I've orchestrated it. Maybe life has orchestrated it with me. The dance between me and reality has gotten me to this moment where I can see clearly what's on the board. I can see clearly what's in front of me to do. And it feels like a lot. It feels like it's going to require something new from me. It's going to require a different level of character, a different level of fortitude, organization, planning, execution, state management, a different level of willingness, a different level of kindness to myself, ability to create rest so that I can fully devote to whatever the demands of this moment are of me. We come up to those fulcrums, to those thresholds, to those Rubicons, and life asks us to cross them, to actually just go all in. This word that I love so much, cathexis, it asks, life asks us to make this full investment, which is what cathexis means. Cathexis, you can just feel that word being so potently about going all in on that moment going all in on transmuting yourself into the person who you need to be and that meditation that ability to just lock in as they say into that moment and be be willing be easy be comfortable be relaxed in the pressure of that see it for the opportunity that it is because like there's always going to be those rubicons like it's not just like there's one and then you finally arrived in life it's just like life is a series of of coming up to those rubicons life is a series of coming up to those moments it's like we're spiraling up and then there'll be another one we're spiraling up there'll be another one and that's what life is about it seems it's just like a series of evolution points a series of evolve or repeat points like where you you come up to beat those bosses and so I guess the point of this video is just like we got to recognize when we're in those and be excited about it and kind of like pull back and be like oh I'm here I'm here now at this point that I've really actually been waiting for because we all wait so much for change we all wait to be able to transform we we wait for the things to come together so that we're ready and when you when you get to that point where it feels like there's a lot going on there's a lot that needs to be handled there's a lot that's just around me that feels like i gotta pull together i gotta move into a different way i gotta like weave all this into some kind of coherence that's the moment that's the moment you've been waiting for because that's when you get to prove that you have done the work in your character to be able to handle that and move through it and move into the new phase that you've been wanting. And if you could just see that life is just a series of those, then when you get to those moments, you won't be overwhelmed. You won't see it as a, a chance or an excuse to, to fall back into distraction or dispersion. You'll see it as a a moment of actually like great excitement of like exhilaration and you can call upon support you can name it you can say I'm actually I'm actually now in this season of intensity like hallelujah I've arrived and like you can tell your brothers you can tell who's around you you know like I'm I'm actually here now it's time to take what I'm doing in my business to the next level it's time to take what I'm doing 
with whatever it is, with my creative project, with my career. Like, it's all, I'm being forced to evolve. And there's a joy in that, is what I'm saying. There's like a joy, there's an excitement, there's an opportunity, there's like a privilege. It's an honor almost to be like, like accepted to that, that level. Life is like, it's time, let's go. So I just really feel like that's a key. That's a key for us as we come up to these evolve or repeat points to just come to them with a lot of joy, come to them with a lot of just like, let's fucking go energy, you know? So evolve or repeat, my friends, evolve or repeat.